Well, that is the dilemma that we are faced with. In general, I tell people that it is better to put our children in schools that may be inferior academically, but superior spiritually, Islamically, than to put them in schools that are better academically, but inferior Islamically. Because the harm that comes from that academic institution, which is Islamically weak, the secularization of education, the impact on the children, will be very difficult to correct later. They graduate from high school, they have been indoctrinated with secularism in all of these textbooks which are being used, they are created by secularists who have an agenda. Secularists who don't believe in God. They subtly work into the texts, etc., the elements of this belief. They won't say it openly, but they work it into the chapters. They've been working on this for a hundred years. And they will subtly affect the children, young people, without them even knowing it. Many of us who have grown up in that system, we have things in our heads we don't really know. We've been programmed. So it is better that the children be in a good Islamically uh, guided school. So of course, if you have to choose between bad Islamically and bad uh, academically, then I'm not saying go to that one. Right? But one where at least the effort, the big effort is there on the Islamic side, but the academics needs fixing help. Because the student who graduates, maybe he or she will not get the top marks. They may not master their subjects to the level that people would in the academically superior school. But problems in academics can be fixed by tutoring. You bring in tutors, there's a weakness here, bring them in, strengthen your kids and so on and so. Pay and get the tutoring done. That is something fixable. Whereas the spiritual damage, when the damage happens in the spiritual realm of the children, it's very difficult to fix later. Oh.